Video transitions are an excellent way to add style and customization to your project. Transitions are special effects placed between changing video clips or images to create a smoother, oftentimes artistic transition between two clips. Most transitions will use part of each clip, the end of one and the beginning of the next one, to create the effect. There are over 100 transitions included in Video Studio Pro in 15 categories such as 3D, wipe, film, roll, peel, and many more. You can also add your most frequently used transitions to a My Favorites category. You can add transitions automatically several different ways or manually. Many of the transitions even provide you the ability for customization. There is also more than one way to apply the same transition through your entire project instead of one at a time. And of course you can set the duration of each transition again automatically or manually. Let's see how this is done, shall we? I'll start with the Movie Wizard's automated process of adding transitions and for the ease of viewing these effects I'll also create a slideshow instead of a movie. So I've added my images and now at the point where I add a theme. Whichever theme I choose in the Movie Wizard, transitions will automatically be added between any two scenes or images and for the sake of consistency the same one is used throughout. And because Video Studio Pro thinks you're using the wizard because you may not know how to add or change transitions manually, he uses the most common transition, the crossfade, which fades one out as the other one fades in at the same time, like so. But as is with any project created in the wizard, if you're not happy with it, what the wizard provides you, feel free to edit in the main editor. Okay, so adding transitions didn't get any easier than that. But like I said, if you want more control, choices, and the ability to customize, then let's build our project here in the Video Studio Pro Editor instead. The first thing to point out is that all the transitions are viewable and available from the Effects tab. You'll also be taken here automatically when you select a transition that's already been laid down in the timeline. Video Studio nicely provides you with animated thumbnails. Select any transition to also view in the larger preview window. Here you see the various categories of transitions that are available. Right click on any one of these to add it to my favorites list, which is also available at the top of our transitions. Now, the easiest way to add transitions is to do it automatically, right? Let's see how we can do that here too. Go to File, Preferences, and then click the Edit tab. At the bottom here, I can set some rules. I will leave the duration of each transition at one second. This means a half a second of each image or video will be used in the transition. Again, the end of one and the start of the next. I will also select Automatically Add Transition Effect. And for the fun of it, I'll keep it at random. But as you can see from this list, you can choose from any of the transitions available in Video Studio Pro. And click OK. Now all I need to do is either bring my images down to the timeline one at a time, like so, or shift select a bunch of images and bring them down that way. And you notice all the transitions are added automatically. Another way I can do it is to manually overlap using an image already in the timeline. This process overwrites the default duration of the transition and makes it the length or duration of the overlap. Now that we've done this, how can I edit the transition? Not all of them have editing abilities, but some do, like this one. and this one. You can only edit a transition that's already in the timeline. You cannot change the default behavior of them in the transition library itself. But what if you want to change the transitions being used altogether? Well, simply drag and drop a different choice onto one existing already in the timeline, and it changes. The duration will remain the same. And if you want to change them all to one in particular, just right click one in the library and choose apply current effect to video track and choose yes to the dialog box. You can also select one and then click this icon here for the same result. And while I'm at this transition, why don't I go ahead and edit that too. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning more about the power and value of Corel's Video Studio Pro. Thanks again, and I'll see you in another Corel video tutorial.